Well, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the International Farmer. It is the 21st of April, 2022. We got a handful of mods to look at today. And of, like always, I pick out a couple showcase mods that are my favorite. But we do cover everything that came out today for cross-platform. So hit that like button and hit subscribe. Let's get to it. Uh, one of my showcases, of course, is this brand new cabin by Elk mountain modding this is cross-platform and beautiful this rustic cabin is perfect for a starter home or a small farm setup it has fully working sleep trigger in the bedroom and a wardrobe trigger in the bathroom the cabin has manual lights inside the cabin and auto lights on the porch that come on once it's dark out uh, this is by elk mountain modding and it'll be in the farmhouses category so when you place it down it comes with a little fire pit little uh, bench to sit on and just stay cozy by the fire. You got some hanging baskets, an old bale right there. Uh, very detailed. I like it. Got our grill on the front porch. If we walk around the back side, right, don't get stuck here. There we go. We got some wood piles around the porch, around the back side, generators, another wood pile. Nice little ladder there. Nice detailed gravel and stone going around. Got an old fishing boat propped up against the fireplace there. Wheelbarrow and all kinds of just nice decoration. It's cool. Got a little bird feeder, something like that. Yeah, nice. Let's take a step inside. I did place it too close to the tree in the yard, so that's why some branches are coming through. That's my fault. But other than that, I did a pretty good job, right? Not too bad. Alright, let's get the lights on. Where's the light switch? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Ooh, nice lighting. Like I said, ignore that. That's my fault because I put it too close to a tree. Uh, let's take a little house tour here. Very nice. Nice little fireplace. Look at the detail. Oh, splendid. Got some old radios laying around, shades, headphones, uh, liquid soap. Oh, yeah. Wait, what's up here? What is that? Fruit juice? Delicious. I love fruit juice. Oh, we even got a little ladder we can climb up here. Oh, look at the little loft. Very nice. Maybe I could throw a bale up there. All right, let's see what's in here. This is where you can change your wardrobe. Uh-oh, I can't see myself. That's not good. Not good, Lottie. And then in here is your bedroom. And this is where you can save the game if you would like, or fast forward time, take a nap. You know, you know what I'm saying? So that's pretty cool. That is the Rustic Cabin by Elk Mountain Modding. Pretty darn cool. Uh, next up, we have this little bad boy here. Let's take a look at that. That is going to be the Case IH Optum Tier 4B by Blow. Hello. <laughs> let's check that out. Why am I in that screen? My bad. All right, let's see the details on it here. Uh, it's going to cost $229,500 with a horsepower range between 273, 313 horsepower CVT transmission, 410 liter fuel tank at 31 miles per hour, weighing 10.8 ton. There you go. We got trail board with standard wheel weights, wide and weights, rear twins, twins on the front and back narrow tires back to stand it we also have michelin and then we have continental midas and we also have bkt and redestein i think there's even some nokians on here yep there's nokian standard standard two and then back to Trailborg engine setup, we got 273 horsepower or 288 or the 313 horsepower. Main colors, we have special red with the chrome mixed in there. And we got black and we got gray. Rim colors, we have gray, black, and white. And then of course you got your license plate on the front and the back. There you go. Let's fire up real quick, see what she sounds like. One, two, three, 
Got three stages of lights, beacons, flashers, horn. A look at the interior here. Nice sharp looking interior, I'd say. Not too shabby. Ooh, look at the stitching. Very nice. Very good stitching right there. Those high beams off. Yeah, she's a big girl. Plenty of horsepower. All right, Parker next to our new cabin here. And we'll take a look at the rest of the mods for today. Not really a whole much else to cover, a lot of placeables, but first let's check out the rest of the tools out here. All right, so next up, we are gonna take a look at the RAO Onyx, I think is how you say it, right here. It's a cultivator that prepares fields for the next sowing. This is by Apollo 5090R. It's gonna cost you $8,000. Requires 110 horsepower, 5.4 ton with a four meter working width, operating at six miles per hour. So a new cultivator for you. And there you go, very nice. And up after that, we have the Lizard Underbelly Trailer by Mantrid. Uh, it's a tipper trailer to transport different crops, all that good stuff. You know the drill. $90,000, Lizard Logistics brand. It's going to hold between 80,000 and 110,000 liters, weighing 7.6 ton. And you can see scrolling along the bottom, pretty much going to haul everything in the game that you uh, find. Oh, look at that. It's got a lizard paint job on it. Oh, fancy pants. Interesting. A lot of lizard brand going up on here. All right, so we got a dual tank, a single tank. So if you want it all to just hold one product, there you go. Single tank, if you want it to split, you got your dual tank. Wheel brand lizard with twin wheels. Twin wheels with no steering. We got Continental with twin wheels or twin wheels, no steering. Michelin. With wide tires, twin wheels, no steering, wide, no steer. Then we got Vredestein as well. Ooh, narrow twin wheels. Those are goofy looking. Then we got BKT also. All kinds of different tires on this thing. And Midas, jeez. And even Nokian slid on there. I'll tell you what, man. It's got all kinds of toys right there. All right, beacon lights, none. Beacon lights, yes. That's going to put two beacons right here. And... Nothing on the back. All right, so you get the two beacons up top front here. When you put beacons on, side, decals. We got large. We got small. Or none at all. You don't have to have the lizard logo on there. Cover decal. You can have that large, lizard large, small on the front and back, lizard small, or none at all. All kinds of logo options. Uh, paint scheme, we got all kinds of paint colors to choose from here. And rim color, so there you go. You can paint that thing however you like it. Uh, no license plate option, that's odd. A trailer with no license plate. Maybe in a future update, you'll be able to put a license plate on there. But there you go. There's the underbelly, uh, lizard underbelly trailer by Mantrid. Pretty cool. Uh, next up, we got the Robert BV3002. That's by Apollo 5090R as well. Uh, this tool can be used to load goods on your trailer. Easy peasy, baby. Just uh, put that attached to a Manito, a telehandler. Skid steer loader, wheel loader. So it looks like everything but front loader tools. Like, I don't think you'll be able to use it with a tractor. You can try, but uh, it looks like telehandler, skid steer, wheel loader, and then the Manitou. Manitou. We got without options on the design, and then we got crocodile claw, the claw arm. Articulated silage cutter. That thing looks sweet. And then a fixed silage cutter. A cutting jaw. Dang. And then without options. So pretty customizable, actually. $11,000 is the price. And it holds 3,000 liters per scoop, weighing 1.4 ton. 
combinations. Oh, here you go. It's telling you all the different things it can hook up to right here. Well, that makes it easy. So just hit the combinations and you'll know what it goes along with. All right, next up after that is going to be the Lizard PB5032 by Blend Art. I swear there's one exactly like this. Maybe it's by the same guy. It looks identical. It's a roller. You can improve the upper soil layer quality of your fields. It's going to cost 30000 bucks. requires 54 horsepower, 3.4 ton on the weight, 6 meter working width at 9 miles per hour. Then you have the HMR2, which requires 15 horsepower, and it's 800 kilogram, 2 meter working width, and it looks like you can connect additional rollers to these connectors, if I had to guess. Let me take a look at it. Uh, standard frame, folding left, folding right, folding arms. So you should be able to unfold those and attach a roller to that and that and have three wide. We got smooth rollers, or we got toothed rollers. Tooth! I love that word. Cambridge rollers. Back to smooth. Let's go with tooth. We got main color. We could do like a light gray roller color. It could be like a colossal green. There you go. Mix it up a little bit. And then here's the main roller right here. We got smooth, toothed, and cambridge. And again, we can change the colors up however we want. Roller color, red, rim color, red. There you go. So nice and customizable. Very nice. And then after that, we have the Dawn 20 NPP. This is a big old auger wagon, Russian style right here. That's a Russian brand. Rostelis Mosh. It's going to cost $12,000. 150 horsepower required. It's going to hold between 20 and 24,000 liters of uh, grain. Weighing 3.9 ton, and it's a chaser bin auger wagon. It can hold more than your normal standard, you know, trailer. So as you can see, it's in the Russian language. That's the Dawn brand, 20 NPP. That is all Russian right there. We have standard configuration, extension with the wood extension. That looks awesome. Uh, design one, design two, design three, Back to design one wheel setup we got standard standard two two different wheel options main color we got three we got red red number two and green design color is yellow what's that going to be is that that right there the writing yes so you can change the rear writing to yellow uh rim color we can change that to yellow as well there you go if you're looking for a Russian, <laughs> a Russian style chaser bin, then there you go. Very nice. All right, then we have a trailer, the Cramp Big Body 750 right there. That's by Axe Diamond. Axe Diamond, I guess is how you pronounce it. It costs thirty-five thousand five hundred dollars. It holds between twenty thousand and thirty-seven point five thousand liters, weighing seven point five ton. Looks like it holds pretty much everything in the game. It looks like. Uh, we got Michelin wheel brand option with standard, wide. We got Trailborg with standard and wide. BKT with standard and wide tires. Redestine, standard and wide. Michelin with standard and wide. We got back to Trailborg warning signs. Let's see, warning signs. We got European warning signs. We got without warning signs. Oh, I see, right here, right by the tires. You got warning sign without warning sign without podium with a podium if you want a little podium there so you can get up there and see what's going on inside your trailer well there you go daddy there you go extension capacity right now it's holding 37.5 or we can lower it to hold 20,000 liters main color we can change that we could do a gray on the frame design color we could do Fur green right there. Rim color can be changed to red, uh, gray or red. Then you got your license plate on the back left fender there. Or mud flap. There you go. Very nice. All right, we're going to go take a look now at the placeables. And we I think we only got one update to cover. So let's go ahead over there right now. All right, let's take a look at today's placeables. 
and updates. So first on the placeables, we got Dog Houses. Come on, baby. Dog Houses Pack. That's by Fudzo. You're going to get Dog Houses. Perfect for your farm. Price, $100. Maintenance, $1 per day. We got a new selection of Dog Houses. Isn't that radiant? Isn't that lovely? All right, then we'll take a look at the next placeable, which is a medium garage. This is by Matej Mods. Medium-sized garage for agricultural machinery. Medium-sized garage, daily upkeep, 30 a day. Price, 90,000. Looks like it's gonna be good for small and medium-sized equipment. One, two, three, four, five doors. Oh my goodness, that's lots of doors. Oh yeah, you can fit all kinds of stuff in there. Beautiful. Got its own lights built in. Very nice, I do like that. And then here's probably the most exciting uh, placeable of the day. We got the Rustic Cabin by Elk Mountain Modding. Beautiful cabin right here. This rustic cabin is perfect for a starter home or a small farm setup. It has fully working sleep trigger in the bedroom and wardrobe trigger in the bathroom. The cabin has manual lights inside the cabin and auto lights on the porch. Check out these screenshots here. Oh my, look at that. That's adorable, and it's so cute, like seriously. No, that really is nice. Very nice and detailed. All right, and that is by Elk Mountain Modding. All right, then we're gonna take a look at the Arched Buildings Pack. This is by Michael LS. The Arched Building Pack, the pack contains three buildings that can be changed colors. Arch Shed is gonna cost 20,000 with daily upkeep of 20. Then we got an Arched Garage, 25,000, 25 upkeep and an arched cow shed, which we're looking in that middle photo. That's gonna hold 40 cows. Price is only 27.5 with $30 upkeep. You can bedding with bales of straw. <laughs> right. Manure can be removed from the cow shed. In order to remove manure, a loader shovel should be placed in a marked place. Note, manure can only be filled with a shovel. Alrighty then. So there's our arched building. Storage, there's our arched cow shed, which is pretty cool. I like that. And there's your arched garage. Put all kinds of stuff in there. Plenty of room to store things. I like that. Nice pack. All right, then in the placeables, we have the EU Factories, European Factory Set. This is by DMI 20MM Normandy. This mod contains an old dairy factory. The price is going to be 70000 Input, milk, and sugar. Output will be butter, cheese, and chocolate. It also comes with an old grain mill. Input wheat, barley, oat, and sorghum. Output will be flour. That's going to cost 96000 So we got an old brick European style factories here. Pretty nice if you're wanting to mix up your scenery with different style buildings. Nice. All right, we got a lot of placeables. Next, we got refillable tanks by Puma145. Refillable tanks, nice and rusty, rustic looking, looking rough. I like it. The diesel refill tank, put the tank on the farm to buy fuel. Price is 5,000, daily upkeep of 25. Then we got a fertilizer refill tank. That's going to cost 5,000, daily upkeep of 25. All the prices are the same, so I'm just going to tell you what there is. There's a diesel tank, a fertilizer refill tank, seed refill tank, a water tower, and a lime refill tank. All of them cost 5000 each, and each hold what I just said. There's your fuel, uh, there's your seeds, and there's uh, fertilizer, I think. There's your old rusty water tower, and then I think that's for your lime spreader. Nice. I like I like how they look nice and old and used. Pretty cool if you got like an old style farm. And then we got one update. We got an update to the biogas plant 150kW by Vertex Design in the change log. Allowed unloading of hay and straw bales. Fixed typo that caused straw to be worth a lot of power and digestate. So there's the 1.0.1 change log fix on the biogas plant 150kW if you were using it. Make sure you get that updated. Ladies and gentlemen, that's everything. It was not too bad of a day on mods, eh? But I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like, hit subscribe, and we will probably catch you tomorrow, Friday, for our final day of the week mods review. 
Have a great day, everybody. It's the International Farmer signing off. Goodbye.